time to take a wild ride back to the past. Sit back and relax and enjoy this episode of Every Lane. This Sega Genesis game can only be one thing. We're here live from Wrestling Week here at Memory Lane. And we're playing Saturday Night Slam Masters for the Sega Genesis. Or for all of you over in Japan and Europe, Mega Drive. And uh, you can see we're here on the cover. Let's check this out. We have two fictional characters on the front cover right here. We got this big guy right here. He has a lot of hair. Look at the freaking body here. Jesus. Looks like an animal, man. Look at that. You have uh, <laughs> this masked luchador. Uh, literally giving himself a hernia trying to pick this big guy up. And uh, you can tell this by the look on his face. He's barely, barely pulling this off. And then you have the... Saturday Night Slam Masters logo right there on the top. The Capcom logo. And this game was definitely more popular on the uh, Super Nintendo. This game is a little bit more rare, especially finding it inside the case itself. And you see all the, uh, the reaction from the crowd right here. Look at this. These people are in awe. They're shocked. That this Luchador is able to pick this big fat guy up. It was uh, questionable. He might be an animal. Look how much hair he has. It's a lot of hair. It's a partial human. His mother might have been a Bigfoot or something. I don't know. And then on the back of the case right here, you see the, this. Allegedly supports one or two players. I know that the Super Nintendo version supports up to four with a multi tab. And uh, you have a couple of screenshots. And uh, they really, really right away push the screenshots of what's uh, known as the death match. Uh, the Super Nintendo version does not have the death match. So you can see there's like Bob Wire and all that stuff going on right there. We're going to check that out. Uh, once we get the game popped in. And you have a couple of screenshots of the regular game right here. It looks pretty much just like the uh, Super Nintendo version. Now one thing that you may notice is that the referee is absent. He does not want no part of the Sega Genesis for some reason. So there is no referee at all in Saturday Night Slam Masters for the Sega Genesis. I don't know why, but the Super Nintendo version does have it. If you open up the case, you have the, uh, the game inside, and this is not a third-party case, or generic case. This is a real Capcom case, as you can see right there. That's the Capcom logo right here, engraved into the actual case. Unfortunately, I don't have the manual. I'm going to have to probably hunt that down. And you have the label art right there. Basically the same thing that was going on in the front is occurring on the actual label. It's a lot more vibrant, a lot more contrast in the label. And there's your end label. It's a pretty light cartridge. It's rated T for teen. Just for the heck of it. Let's see if I have the Super Nintendo version. I can actually show you what that one looks like. And the Super Nintendo version right here, this is what the label looks like on the Super Nintendo version. So they basically have the same thing going on right here, but they have an additional guy right here. And uh, I'm not sure who that guy is. They cut his head off completely. But they added that extra guy right there. And you have the same people in the background in all. They're shocked. And the end of the label is yellow writing instead of uh, you know what you had on the Genesis cartridge. So yeah, we're gonna be playing Saturday Night Slam Masters for the Sega Genesis. And let's see if we can move the camera over here. And there we have 
the six button controller to Sega Genesis. Nothing fancy going on over here. It's kind of a crappy shot, but we also have a ASCII joystick. And uh, with the ASCII joystick, there is certain modes that are two player only. For example, the uh, death match. So, in order for me to demonstrate the death match, I'm going to have to use the second joystick. So let's pop this game in right here, and let's play Saturday Night Slam Masters. Radical Vision. For the Sega Genesis. It's uh, definitely uh, more popular on the Super Nintendo, but there is a very, very loud Capcom introduction right there. And then we have what is definitely apparent to be uh, Capcom's version of Hulkamania. Turn this shirt off and get the Saturday Night Slam Masters little title screen right there. And we're playing this through a 32X hooked up to a Sega Genesis first model. And we have a few different little... Uh, Guess little descriptions on each uh, wrestler. That uh, Gunlock, six foot four, seven hundred, uh, no, two hundred and seventy-six pounds. Not seven hundred. That's a little bit too big. All right, let's see who's next. So one thing that you may notice is that the uh, audio definitely sounds. More gritty than the Super Nintendo version, and the uh, the referee is not present on the Sega Genesis version at all. So there's no referee. I'm not sure why, but they do have a cameraman outside the ring. <clears throat> Let's see if you can turn that down a little bit. So a while ago, I did a side-by-side -side comparison of the Super Nintendo and Genesis version. So let's uh, check this game out and see if this uh, controller wants to function properly. Let's see. Here we go. So, uh, yeah, in this version you have singles match versus match and death match. And uh, I don't recall if the Super Nintendo version had a death match. Let's check that out. It's been a while since I played it. And of course, in this version of the game, they force you to play two players. I don't even have a second controller hooked up. I don't know why it would ask for a second player. And of course, I can't pick a second player. So now I have to restart the game. Got the restart button right there. Got to start it up again. All right, let's skip the uh, fancy Capcom introduction, the Hulk Hogan ripoff. All right, let's do singles match. Okay, so you got pretty much every character that was in the uh, Super Nintendo version. I usually pick Stinger. Stinger vs. Biff. And we're going to Los Angeles, as you could hear from that very distorted, uh, synthesized voice. And then we have all the fancy introductions that you had in the Super Nintendo version. Alright, so this is Saturday Night Slam Masters. You double tap forward, you run forward, so it plays exactly just like the other version. It's basically a fighting game, but in a wrestling ring. It's actually pretty good. It's one of my favorite wrestling games of all time. Yeah, I took that! Whatever the hell that was. That was pretty cool. 
Man, this mess guy is pretty damn good. Pinno, yeah. That was a quick match. Check that out. Made it, made it look easy. He did the Ric Flair. Woo! It's Ric Flair underneath that mask. All right, we had a, uh, a massive amount of bonus. I guess back in the uh, WCW days, if you guys remember WCW, they uh, they handed out bonuses to, to uh, wrestlers that put on the best matches of the, of the night. So if you performed really good during your matches, you got extra bonuses, which was pretty cool. That was a real thing. <clears throat> so now you know why... Uh, if you watched WCW Nitro back in the day, all the cruiserweights performed their matches like it was a pay-per-view show. It was freaking nuts. Alright. Yeah, take that. Oh, no, he's pissed off. This is a huge... Oh, he did a suplex to that big guy. I don't know how. What the hell was that? He's getting prepared. Oh, he's pissed off. You saw that? This guy kind of reminds me of uh, like a Rey Mysterio. Definitely a Rey Mysterio. He definitely had the old Rey Mysterio look to him from like back in the day. WCW, Mexico, Luchador. Stop the crap out of oh no. He's still trying to fight me. Yeah. Ray Mysterio has won again. We'll see what type of bonus I get this time. Twenty-nine thousand. Racking up those points. I'm not sure if the uh, Sega Genesis version supports it, but the Super Nintendo version. I remember back in the day, I had a multi tab. And I would play four players. I mean, my sister, my cousin, myself, and uh, my father. We would all four play the game in like four player mode, and it was freaking nuts. It was like probably one of the funnest uh, wrestling games playing simultaneously four players at the same time. It was crazy. And then we got Hagger from uh, Street Fighter. He definitely made himself really well known in this game. Yeah, dropkick from all the way across the ring. That was. Oh my god. You want to avoid getting clotheslined by him. His, his clotheslines are bad. You might have to execute some moves from the distance, like what I just did there. Yeah, you're going to have to pull a couple of those off to get this guy down. You hear the TV in the background playing. It does appear that the uh, the Sega Genesis and the uh, Super Nintendo version are a little bit different resolution. So I noticed that when I played on my CRT TV, oh, he's grabbing weapons. So when I was playing on my uh, CRT TV with the uh, Super Nintendo version of this game, it would be kind of like half screen. If that makes any sense, and uh, the uh, Sega Genesis version has a bit of a fuller screen. There's uh, quite a bit more on the screen. I did not quite rack up as much bonus points that time, so you know I need to uh, go back to my old roots and start performing better. We're going to Tokyo. Uh, this guy, I guess it's an Oni, Ani, where the hell his name is, kind of matches my agility. So this is going to be a classic match right here. Five stars coming. 
I believe he's from Japan. We have to be real careful in this match. This is definitely a luchador match right here. Oh no, he close on the crap out of me. He's beating the crap out of me. Oh, what the hell is that? I need to make this happen. Oh, what the hell is that? It worked, whatever it was. Oh, he used his ass as a weapon. What the hell? Whatever that was, it worked. He literally jumped up in the air and landed in the sitting position and landed his ass right on his face. It's like a modified Yokozuna Banzai drop. And this guy is not that heavy, so it can't be that effective, but apparently it works. You can see his face is a little crooked over there. We're moving on to the next match. The Titan, oh no. Titan's another, uh, I believe, a Street Fighter character. A very, very large, tall guy. And here he comes, making his way to the ring. A big freaking guy. Look at that. He has his cut jeans. He's wearing almost like Daisy Dukes. It's a bit disturbing. He's wearing a, uh, Oh no, what the hell? Oh, get off! Oh, oh. <laughs> this, this reminds me of that time that Kevin Nash beat the crap out of Rey Mysterio. <laughs> this is not fair. Get away from me. I'm gonna have to, like, run away from this guy. Oh, he chopped me like Great Carly. What the hell? Oh, I got him twice. The only way I'm going to be able to win is if I hoard that move. That move right there. My punches are not effective. Oh my god, he powerbombed me to hell. <laughs> oh man, get up, get up. No, no. Oh shit. What the heck? Oh, pin him, pin him. Oh, what the hell? He no sold all my moves. What? The oh my god, he killed him. That is it. Get up, get up. Get outside the ring. <laughs> oh my god, no. Oh my god, that was a good fight. You can see both life bars were trained down to the bottom. This a uh, big, gigantic uh, guy right here. Yeah, we're gonna continue. We're not giving up th that soon. I'm gonna stick with the Stinger, and that's not Sting from WCW. That's it's basically Raven Stereo. Hanover. All right, here comes the Stinger. And here comes this big ass Kevin Nash looking bastard, wearing the uh, very short shorts and the. Uh, the vest that doesn't even fit, as you can see there. It's about probably five sizes too small. I'm trying to get the advantage on this guy. We have to definitely. It's kind of hard to run. Yeah, take that, you bastard. I'm gonna have to go to the top rope. Oh, he chopped me from the top rope! <laughs> God dang. He is not playing around. Top rope time. Oh, didn't. Oh, what the hell? Oh no, he kicked me in the face. You saw that? He's going on a. What the hell is that? He's going on an onslaught of attacks. Pin him, pin him. 
Yeah, I got him that time. You, you, you can see towards the end he was trying to... He was definitely trying to... To, you know, go crazy at me. He was trying to unleash a whole crap load of attacks at once. I definitely earned my bonus points that time. Let's see who the uh, next competitor is. <laughs> greater. And you can tell Greater kind of runs with Vader. So I think that's who they tried to model it off of. So this is basically Big Van Vader. You can tell with the, uh, the thing he's wearing. Vader, Big Van Vader used to come out with that thing. You know, it's like some weird, huge attire that you would wear on, on the top portion of his body that was smoke. It was really cool looking. So this is Vader. Oh, oh, I'm getting my ass kicked. And the last thing you want to do is piss Vader off. I really, really doubt Rey Mysterio can actually do that. Had a definitely a huge collision course right there with Vader. And Vader is very smart. He moved out of the way. Right oh my god. He broke my neck. <laughs> Let me see if we can run right through him. I have to stop him a little bit while he's on the ground. He definitely has the advantage right now. He's a really big guy. What the hell is this? Oh! Pin him, pin him! So, yeah. Definitely managed to get by Capcom's version of Vader. Now, if that was really Vader, uh, Rey Mysterio would probably be dead right now. But then yeah, I didn't quite collect the bonus that was, uh. That, that was not a good bonus. I just got done beating up Vader. Come on. That was very hard. Alright, who is the next guy? Gunlock. I'm not sure who Gunlock is supposed to be, but... Let me see, here comes Ray Mysterio Jr. Here comes Gunlock. And we're gonna have ourselves an interesting match right here. Oh my god, this guy is. Oh, that was a good suplex. Come on. For some reason, my uh, D pad is. It's like, if you tab forward forward too fast for some... What is this, a time to match? What the hell? Yeah, I took that. Right now I'm just pulling off all the moves. So, in order to run on the Sega Genesis version, you have to push forward forward or back back. At a certain, I can't explain it. If you do it too fast, it doesn't work. If you do it too slow, it doesn't work. You have to do it just right. I don't recall having that issue on the, uh, the Super Nintendo version. It's kind of weird. But the game works. And it plays perfectly fine for my enjoyment. And then that guy was no match for Ray Mysterio Jr. And we're towards almost, we're almost towards the end of the, of the tournament here. Yeah, Jumbo. I believe Jumbo comes up with like a monkey or something. If I'm not mistaken. And I'm not exactly sure who Jumbo is supposed to uh, represent. But he kind of looks like one man gang from the old WWF or something like that. Or Barbarian. Very, very large. Kind of looks like Earthquake, kind of. Maybe that's what they were trying to do. Earthquake or tugboat. Or they called them Typhoon during that time with the natural disasters. This is definitely an, not a fair fight. You 
There's no way in hell that Rey Mysterio is going to be able to pick that guy up. He's literally like... Oh my god, what the fuck was that? I think Rey Mysterio is injured. Just by the, the weight that landed right on top of him moments ago. Alright, we're going to have to do what we got to do here. Yeah, right in the face. Take that, you... <laughs> he hit him with that steel container of whatever that was, tools. I'm not sure what the hell that was supposed to be. Pin him. Oh, he no sold. Pin him, pin him. Yeah, we got... Yeah, that was a good match. Both life, bar life bars got trained all the way to the bottom. Got the stamina. You can see I'm playing this game till the end. Now we got the winner and the loser. Alright, who's the next guy right here? I believe this is the last guy right here. Scorp. So this is this is gonna be a showdown right here. This is like Luchador versus Luchador. This guy is gonna try to knock me off my game right here, and he kind of looks like Hiyabusa from uh, Japan, who uh, ended up being paralyzed. Is he uh, got into a, an accident in the ring during one of his moves he performed? He wrestled in FMW, which is a defunct wrestling promotion. I guess they actually came back, but you have to fight for your life in this one. No! Oh, what the hell is that? Oh man. Oh my god! And he pinned me all nonchalant. All nonchalant. This. <laughs> Look at that. That is the cockiest pin of all time of any video game. Look at how messed up my body looks. What the hell is that? Let's see, I'm not giving up. This is the last match. I have to beat this guy. This guy is gonna get it. And we're in Calgary, Alberta, Canada. So you know what that means. We're in the Heart Foundation country right here. Oh, man. No! He's, I'm doing worse this time than I did. Wow, this guy is a prick. Stop this. Oh my god, he killed me. And he did this nonchalant pin again. Wow. You know what it is? If you push your button combination too fast, it doesn't work. What the hell is that? He just split into two different guys, and that was very, very supernatural. That was weird. Let's try this again. I am not giving up until I win. We're about 23 minutes into the video, so I am not giving up until I win. We're very close. Oh my god, you freaking guy. I'm gonna have to hit him with a couple of those. I have no choice. Come on, get it. Oh my, what the hell? Yeah, I took that. No! He caught me. I gotta get away from him. He's gonna fuck me up. Come on. 
When it comes to boss fights, you have to use strategy. You might have to... Oh my god, no! Again! Oh my god, what the hell? I don't recall the Super Nintendo version being this challenging. Although I haven't played it in forever, so... I could possibly pop that one in and probably still have the same issue. I'm gonna try it again. I am not giving up. Get his ass to the ring, he's gonna get it. Oh, again! What in the hell? We have to get away from this guy. This guy is a freaking shooter, man. So <laughs> that's what happens when I can't beat the uh, the boss. He's automatically a shooter. That makes me feel better when I say that. All right, let's see if we can get this guy. Oh, you know, he's definitely taking a break outside the ring here, trying to throw me off. Very, very smart AI. I almost have him. Come on. Yeah, yeah, he's trained. Now the only thing I have to do is pin him. Pin him. Yeah, I got his ass. That a uh, whore, one of my moves. But it worked. And I believe that this is the ending of the uh, single player version of the game right here. Let's find out what it does here. I know I've beaten this Super Nintendo version. I don't recall playing this one all the way through, so let's find out what it... I have a crown. Oh yeah, that's right. I remember in the uh, Super Nintendo version, the tournament actually continues. And then you end up getting trophies, you end up getting this, that, all kinds of stuff. Of course, I, I think. Professional Wrestling Association. The new champion of the CWA is born. And there's the uh, title belt right there, and I have the belt. Kind of looks like they're trying to copy the NWA title. And that's why they call it the CWA. This is, and the strongest of all must praise me. Yeah. A new battle, battle begins. <laughs> Let's see what happens here. Are they going to start the tournament over? Oh, just like the Super, Super Nintendo version. Now I must defend my title. So I, a champion is me, but I must defend my title now against that guy, which will uh, I wish there would bring this game back. This game was really cool. They only made a couple of the arcade versions, so like they have a couple of them, like two or three of them, and they only had like one console version. It would have been awesome if it came out on Saturn. Let's see, there's no weapons out here. Oh, he freaking power drive me, Tombstone power driver. He is killing me. Oh, there's a 20 count, thank god. What the hell is he doing? This is murder. Wow, he went to a rage. He did He didn't even care. He did not even care to get back in the ring. He wanted to kill me. He inflicted so much damage on me that was Let's try the two-point mode for a second. I don't have a second person here, but we're going to try that deathmatch out. Alright, so I plugged in the fighter stick, the SG-6 ASCII 
six button joystick. Into port number two on the Sega Genesis. And now we can try a deathmatch to see exactly what that is. And I don't recall this being in the Super Nintendo version. You probably wouldn't see something called deathmatch in the Super Nintendo version. Choose Ray Mysterio versus Big Ben. Ben. Big Ben Vader. They call him Greater. <laughs> That's ridiculous. And as you can see here, it's a freaking barbed wire match. Definitely not in the Super Nintendo version. This is a really cool exclusive for the Sega Genesis. And the freaking weapons break. You hit him with a chair. And if you run into the... Uh, oh, the ropes freaking explode. This is kind of like one of those FMW deathmatch... I guess that's why they call it Deathmatch. But back in the 90s, they had the FMW promotion that had Deathmatches literally just like this. You bash them on a chair. Bam, you run into like fire ropes that explode. You can taunt and then do a drop kick. Yeah, it's like that. We got another chair that's being thrown in the ring by fans. I'm trying to figure out how to perform these moves. Oh my god. So I guess A and B grapp grapples? This is a great way of practicing, by the way. So, uh, so you pick him back up, A and B, throw him into the, uh, to the fire of hell, and there is actually explosions outside the ring. Oh my god, what the hell is that? They, they freaking laid out mines outside the ring. This is definitely, uh, like, inspired by FMW. That is pretty cool. And if there is an actual FMW game, which I believe I reviewed a few days ago. If not, you're going to see it soon. Uh, for the Super Famicom. And it's not even as hardcore as this. This is pretty cool. This is what the FMW game should have looked like. What is that? Is that a bottle? Look at this. Look at that, that's a freaking, like a beer bottle or something. How about that? Get up, get up. Yeah, so this is Saturday Night Slam Masters on the Sega Genesis. So, the controls are... Probably not quite as good as the Super Nintendo, but it still functions perfectly fine, in my opinion. And that deathmatch just came to an end right there. And, uh, what was I gonna say? I got distracted. Um, yeah, there's a bonus deathmatch in the Sega Genesis version of the game that's not in Super Nintendo. The Super Nintendo version does not have that feature. Uh, the referee is completely missing from the Sega Genesis version for some reason. I don't know why. And the, the uh, resolution appears to be different on both games. So, yeah, there's a few interesting characteristics from each version of the game. I don't know if the Sega Genesis version supports a multi-tab, but the Super Nintendo most definitely does. Very, very fun to play. And, uh, yeah, that's... Saturday Night Slam Masters, a definitely great wrestling classic on both the uh, Super Nintendo and Sega Genesis. They both are a little bit different in their own rights, but yeah, they're both awesome.